Hi Leo, welcome to Body Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the energy that you're dealing with. So this could be anybody from a family member to a loved one, an ex-lover, a partner, a spouse, a colleague, or just a peer. So um, just a peer as in like somebody you study with if you're younger. So um, uh, Leo, let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. Uh, we are first going to look at this person's energy towards you. So what is this person's energy towards Leo? What is this person's energy towards Leo? We have four cards. We have the two of swords. The nine of cups. The knight of coins. And the page of cups. So Leo, this person at this time... Uh, with the two of swords this person could be delaying or procrastinating a decision when it comes to you there's something that this person is blocking uh, with the nine of cups this person appears content but the nine of cups is not necessarily an action card an action energy uh, but we have the knight of coins and the page of cups so this person does wish to show up for you in the right way and what I mean in the right way is when we talk about the knight of coins it's about somebody who is a protector you know somebody who comes and provides the basics like food shelter clothing now I'm not saying that this person thinks that you need food shelter and clothing but this person just wants to be there for you in the everyday mundane which is food shelter clothing and with the page of cups uh, this person adores you and admires you in a certain way. But with the Page of Cups, it's like they're not full on emotionally um, showing themselves as available. But they do wish to keep things stable. Like emotionally, they're not showing up as much as they're doing. You see, the, the, the pentacles is a knight and the emotions is a page. So this person is showing less emotionally, but they're doing more for you. Energetically, they want to do more for you. Now, I don't know if they're doing, we'll check in their actions. But they wish to wish for it to be that way, to show up for you in a certain way. And with the two of swords, there's, this person is, there's some blockages between you and this person. And this person's energy towards you seems block for some reason uh, let's look at this person's actions towards you leo what is this person's actions towards leo at this time and in the near future what is this person's actions towards leo so we have the eight of swords that flipped over with the six of coins and the seven of cups so there's a lot of confusion in this person's actions towards you leo with the eight of swords it's not knowing what to do which way to go not knowing how to approach a situation with the seven of cups there is confusion in this person's feelings when it comes to you but with the six of coins this person is you know in their actions they're continuing to give and continuing to give, I don't mean like things. By giving, I mean like time, effort and energy. Like the six of pentacles is, is a reciprocated and balanced energy. For example, if you text this person, the person will text you back. If you gift this person something, this person will gift it back. If you give this person a nice hug, this person will give you a nice hug back. But with the eight of swords, there's something in this person's mind that is not all right. They feel stuck for some reason and with the seven of cups emotionally as well there's confusion so uh, their actions are showing up correct this person is doing right by you leo they're showing up as the knight of coins the page of cups and the six of pentacles so this is like an everyday thing where this person is there in your life you're trying to do the right thing and balance things out but they're not in the right headspace and emotionally it's all cloudy now uh, Leo uh, let's look at uh, your energy towards this person 
What is Leo's energy towards this person? That's a lot of cards, but I'll take them. So the first card that flew out is the Three of Cups, and I picked it up in the reverse. So I'll give you both the interpretations. And the other cards that we have here are the Page of Swords, Justice, and the Magician. Give me a few seconds, Leo. So in this person's energy towards you, with the Three of Cups falling out in reverse, I think you both, this person and you might have been friends in the past or just had fun times together. But for now, things are not so good. You have to take it as it resonates. I'm not sure because everything else is good here. With the Page of Swords, this person is keeping an eye on you, Leo. This person may not necessarily seem present mentally or seem interested when it comes to what you're doing in your everyday activities, but oh yes, they are. <laughs> this person is keeping tabs on what you're doing, what you're up to. And this person is, wants to do right by you, Leo, with the justice. If, if uh, you know, this person, if you feel like this person has wronged you in some way or has been unfair to you in a certain manner. This person realizes it and wants to do right by you with the justice. So, and with the magician, it looks like, you know, this person knows that when it comes to manifesting things with you, they have all the tools. But the, the challenge that the magician is often faced with is which tool should I choose as the magician? So um, I'm not sure if this is an issue, but with the page of swords, this person is not taking action towards you, but is keeping tabs on you, uh, irrespective of whether you guys are together or not with the three of cups. Just take what resonates, Leo. And the person wants to do right by you and knows that, you know, they can manifest whatever they want to with you. Like they can they can bring things back on track if they want it in case things have been off track because for now this uh, you know uh, i'm so sorry uh, leo this is <laughs> this is supposed to be your energy towards this person so you're keeping tabs on this person i'm so sorry i just blabbed uh, for two minutes about uh, so you know what I, I really don't know but i'll just tell you i have i have i have these cards which help me identify the energy separately and in spite of having the scaffolding on the table i've made a mistake so i'm sorry about that leo we're eight minutes into the reading so i'm going to have to post this uh with the three of cups you and this person might not be in the best of conditions or terms but with the page of cups you're keeping an eye on this person you don't seem pretty much or very interested in this person you don't show this person this way but you are you're keeping tabs and you want to do right by this person in case in case uh this person feels like you have wronged them in some way and with the magician you know that you have everything that you need in order to manifest but it, it, it could be possible that you're not making a choice. Basically, whatever I said is the other way now. I'm sorry for repeating myself. What a mess, Leo. Thank you for being patient. If you're still watching, I, I truly appreciate it. And I understand if you want to leave. All right. I totally get it. So, um, uh, Leo, let's look at your actions towards this person. What, what are Leo's actions? towards this person.
So Leo for your actions towards this person, you have the hermit, the chariot, and the queen of wands. All right. So Leo, it looks like you want to take action towards this person. You want a positive movement when it comes to this connection or moving towards this person. But for now, I think Leo, what you're doing is you're looking back at the first half of the cycle that you have um, spent with this person. Because after the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune, there is a second cycle, like the second part of the cycle that transpires in the Major Arcana. So for now, you could be reflecting in, in retrospect about what has transpired between the both of you before uh, you can move forward. For now, you're not looking at uh, making any moves towards this person, even though there is um, tremendous attraction and... Uh, you know, you want to do right by this person with the justice and the magician, but you're in a state of uh, retrospect. And what is the hermit retrospect about? Like, what has transpired? What have I done well? What could have I done better? And what were what am I to do if the situation if the situation or these circumstances were to arrive again? Now, Leo, uh, let's look at anything that you should know about this connection. Uh, what should Leo know about this connection? What is it that Leo should know about this connection? What should Leo know about this connection? So Leo, the Queen of Cups fell in reverse, the world, and the Page of Pentacles. All right. So Leo, your person, or I don't know if this is you showing up as the Queen of Cups in reverse. Uh, let me tell you a little about the Queen of Cups in reverse so you'll know whether it's you or your person who is showing up this way. So the Queen of Cups upright is your confidant, you know. The Queen of Cups will listen to you compassionately, will hear you out. She's the most empathetic uh, listener, he or she, or whichever gender, is an empathetic listener and um, shows a lot of kindness. And this person will often understand your feelings better than you do to understand your own feelings. So, but the problem with the Queen of Cups is that uh, this energy loves very hard and sometimes their love is their love can be smothering and that is for the other person and uh, the queen of cups to her own detriment when she loves so deeply uh, he or she this energy is not able to draw healthy boundaries and often this person starts playing the victim where the person starts where the person feels oppressed now you need to understand that unless one is a child or a senior citizen, an older person or disabled in some way, it's unlikely for anybody to be a victim. We as adults have free will at any point to walk away from a situation that is not doing us good. And it seems like somebody in this connection, whether you or this person, failed to draw healthy boundaries at a certain point and just kept loving and giving and doing things instead of creating a distance so that there is no oppressor and the oppressed. If there was a distance and a healthy boundary drawn, there would be no situation of anybody being the victim of any difficult circumstances. So this is why it's important to exit when the time has come because if you don't then someone becomes a perpetrator someone becomes a victim there is a birth of an oppressor and the oppressed all because somebody chose to not walk away so you'll know leo who this person is uh, with the world there is a, a chapter that's closing off uh, it's not necessary that this connection is ending because this person is still showing up as the page of pentacles so uh, you know, 
this person is willing to put in the effort or you're willing to put in the effort but a certain way of you both being with each other has come to an end where you might have to take a new approach in the way you guys are going to be dealing with each other a new dynamic new starting afresh and making this work so things are going to fall in place leo but there are just some things that need to be addressed by you and your person and you guys are going to start afresh and things are going to be back on track hopefully fingers crossed if that's what you want uh, all right leo if you're still watching thank you for your patience i'm sorry for that confusion in the middle um i'm still a relative i'm a very new tarot reader so thank you for your kindness and your patience thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing i'm uh, uh, i'm gonna catch you later and i hope this helped and uh, see you soon again bye